Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly and in this video I'll give you a very basic introduction to Vision OS. We will not really be coding anything but I do want to show you a couple of different things like how to set it up and what is the project structure and how to navigate the simulator. All right. Now before I do that one very important thing when you are trying to build a Vision OS app is the correct machine setup or the correct machine. Uh, you can see my tweet over here. Uh, I was running it on iMac, Intel based iMac, and this is a message that I get uh, when I'm running or creating a Vision OS application. Vision OS not supported. Developing for Vision OS requires a Mac with Apple Silicon. So Basically, if you have an Intel based MacBook Pro, iMac, whatever, then Vision OS will not be supported and you will not be able to create Vision OS applications on Intel based computers. So you must have Apple Silicon, whether it is M1, M2, M3, whatever, you must use that. Now, I'm currently using my MacBook Pro, which is M1, so I will be able to build Vision OS applications. So that's a very important thing to consider. Let's go back to the Vision OS documentation and you can go to developer.apple.com slash Vision OS. So Vision OS is a, it's a brand new OS that they created and it allows you to create obviously the application for Vision Pro. And there are many different kinds of applications that you can build. Uh, you can create windows, volumes, like either adding 3D shapes or spaces like side by side, much like as they're saying apps on the Mac desktop. And the technologies that you can use to build Vision OS applications are SurfUI, Reality Kit, AR Kit. All right, so SurfUI can be used like if you are creating more like a business oriented application where you have Windows. Reality Kit is when you want to present the 3D stuff. So that's where you're going to be using Reality Kit. All right. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Xcode that how we can create a Vision OS application. So I'm going to go ahead and try to launch Xcode. Let's say Xcode. And I'll say new project. And make sure that you select Vision OS. So let's go next. Whatever name that you want, I'm just going to say Hello Vision OS. And you have a couple of different options. The initial say, scene will be window or volume. The window means it's going to present a window. Volume means it's going to be a 3D object. Now currently just make sure that it's on window and the immersive space render is none. All right. So right now we just want to start with the basic stuff, not anything complicated. OK, so this is what it looks like. And the good thing about the Vision OS on M1 or Apple Silicon is that the previews can actually work. I mean, you can look at the preview. You can run the simulator also, but you can also preview that how the content is actually going to look like on Apple Vision Pro device. So let's go ahead and wait for the preview to load. There we go. Looks nice. Now, we're not really going to go through the code right now. We will cover that later. And I'm also going to be working on a brand new course and it will be hosted on awesomesharp.school about Vision OS. But if you look at the really basic code that they have provided us, uh, the model 3D is creating the globe and the other one, which is the text, is creating this text. All right, so that's what's going on. So let's go ahead and take a look a little bit closer over here. How do we navigate? And that's the important part because this is a completely separate, a new domain for us. Well, there are multiple ways of navigating this. If I want to just move forward and move back, let's click on this over here. I can just use my arrow keys to move forward and move back. Left and right also, just by using arrow keys. You can also use the same like a W for moving forward, S for back, A for left, and D for right. If you're a gamer, you know what I'm talking about. Great. What if I want to just look around? Well, then you can press the control key and just 
make sure that you're dragging your mouse. Mouse has clicked and now I can look around. I can even look on the back, like what's, what's going on on the back. Oh, there's another room over there. I didn't know that. There we go. Looks really nice rooms. Okay. You see this really small, like a bar at the bottom? And keep in mind that I'm using obviously this cursor, but in actual Vision Pro, when you're actually wearing it, all you need to do is to just look at the bottom of the window. And if you look at the bottom of the window, this particular thing is going to light up. And what this does is that it allows you to move the window. So if you, if I'm now dragging and dropping or dragging basically with the mouse pressed and with, a, with just a mouse pad or whatever, trackpad, I can just drag the window and I can move it into a different location. I can even move forward using the arrow keys or W while dragging the window. And I can just put it somewhere else. There we go. If you look on the corner, see that? Not over here, only on the bottoms, not on the top. You see that? This is for resizing the window. And again, we're looking at the bottom, all right? There's no cursor or anything. Your eyes are the main form of communication. Uh, and also, obviously, your fingers. That's where you will say tap or click, one tap, two tap, and all that. So we can resize the window. Great. Other than that, they do provide you different environments also. So in the simulator, if you look over there, that option over there, which looks like mountains, you have a couple of different environments. Uh, right now we are in the kitchen nighttime because it's everything looks kind of dark, but I can always select kitchen daytime. It's the same kitchen, but with light so, so that you can see that how your application looks like in daytime versus nighttime. But you can also select different things like a museum at daytime. So if you're building an app, that requires a little bit more space to like move around. Well, a museum would be a good choice because I can just move around over here. I can go anywhere I want and I can see how my app actually looks like. I can also check out the museum at nighttime also. Nighttime actually the museum looks even better. There we go. There's also a camera over here or a video camera that allows you to set the view, meaning you can look at it from the top, you can look at it from the bottom, but I think most of the time you'll be looking at it from the front because that's how you'll be looking at it in real life when you're wearing your Apple Vision Pro. Now all of these things are actually covered in Apple's documentation. You can see over here interacting with your app in the Vision OS simulator. And they talk about the gestures and how to simulate it. Tap is click, double tap is double click, touch and hold, click and hold, and so on. So I'll add this in the YouTube description so you can definitely check it out. Now, one of the things that is important for Vision OS application is apart from Surf UI is Reality Kit. Because Reality Kit is going to allow you to add 3D objects. Uh, you can even do collision detection. I mean, you can basically create the whole Minecraft game like blocks stacking over each other uh, using Reality Kit. The good news is that I'm actually giving a workshop on Reality Kit. If you go to adamshop.school and click on the workshops, the Reality Kit workshop is on February 24th. It will be two and a half to three hour workshop and it will be very hands-on. There will be no slides or anything. I'll show you some of the projects that you'll be working on and I think you're gonna get excited. But this workshop is limited to 10 people only because I want a small group, not a big group, so I can give you all attention and this will be very hands-on. I'll have the starter project, I'll have the end project. And the great thing is that I've been working with AR in one form or the other since like 2016. Before even ARKit was announced, I was working with 
uh, other frameworks that Apple bought and then they renamed and repurposed it to AR Kit. So it's going to be fun to look at uh, Reality Kit and to show you that what you can achieve with Reality Kit. And I have a small video that you can definitely check it out. Uh, these are similar projects that we'll be working on uh, during our workshop. So you can see that you can add blocks in Reality Kit. I mean, it's just so much fun. This is like a minefield. You can tap on these different blocks. And we will also add some models, but we'll start with blocks. And all of these projects will have a start and an end. So you can always download the project. You can run it. You know, collision detection. I mean, this is always fun to do, colliding with different objects. And this is also another example of collision detection. This is detection between different objects. But we're going to also get down to the actual objects over here, like the actual models. Like I'm just adding these different models, which are shoes, to our theme. So all of these things that you're going to learn in this workshop, you can apply uh, when you're building your reality kit application. So check out azamsharp.school. Go to the workshops and check it out. I do have another workshop also coming up. Uh, so fundamentals, you can see all of those different workshops also. So hope you have enjoyed this. We are going to take a much deeper look into Vision OS, but I think this will at least give you started. And I'm really excited about this. I'll be working on a course on Vision OS also. So uh, keep keep in mind that and then also stay tuned for more. Thank you so much.